Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial I am going to show you a solution for an error in Laravel and the error is unknown fail to open steam no such file or directory in unknown online zero. Okay and let me just uh, read this error as well fatal error and do not skip this part just listen to me here uh, fail opening required D project vendor Laravel framework source illuminate foundation and here you can see in the resource folder here it is written server.php and there is some more things over here like include pat c zam pr uh, php pr so here you can see server.php this is the issue of our problem so what is happening is that server.php file is missing in your resource folder so the solution is really simple so first of all you need to go to this resource folder which is inside the vendor folder and we need to create a file server.php so for it we will go to our project and we will directly go to our vendor folder over here you can see vendor folder and inside the vendor folder here you can see laravel folder so we will go inside this laravel folder then inside the laravel folder we have the framework folder we will go inside the framework after framework we will go to this folder src source then inside source we will find this folder called illuminate and then inside illuminate there is a lot of folder but we need to go to uh, this uh, foundation folder here you can see foundation we'll go inside foundation and inside foundation we'll find the folder called resources and here you can see inside resource folder there is no file over here here you can see if i click on it there is no other file inside the resource folder so right now what we'll do is that we'll just right click over here and then click new file and here i'm going to say server.php then control s and save so right now we have a file inside the resource folder here you can see inside the resource folder we have server.php so right now inside this uh, server.php i am going to paste some code and i will give this code in the first comment so that you can copy it from there so uh, this is the code i am going to copy so control a control c and i will paste it inside server.php control v and control s and i'll give this code in the first comment so do not worry you will find the code over there you can just copy the code and just follow those steps okay so right now if we save it then if we just refresh over here here you can see our problem is gone and we can see the proper view in our laravel project so i hope this tutorial was useful to you and i will actually really appreciate if you like this video and subscribe this channel thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next tutorial